Twin City Liner here in Bratislava. Take that back later on. And then there's the uh, UFO Tower. McDonald's everywhere. Much better here though, let me tell you. Walking through uh, Bratislava here in the old historic district. Souvenirs later on, I'll get one. Slovakian busker here. Well, he started jamming. Let's hear here he plays anything else. He sounded pretty good. share with the Czech nation. However, as far as the language is concerned, uh, the truth is that uh, even though, um, so, so even though many people understand the Czech language today, like myself, my parents, uh, quite a few folks, uh, they say that the children these days don't automatically recognize the other language. They have to learn it some, they have to somehow, uh, you know, kind of um, come into contact with it, uh, uh, become acquainted. Uh, thank you, right? Uh, the are not here by chance. Uh, represent a special fact uh, that these people of Spain or Austria and Montego before uh, they became uh, they, they officially received the power over the Hungarian king. Now uh, um, perhaps you will probably come across this uh, information that uh, this uh, Hungarian king uh, changed the century to the same zone. On route to my nearest Starbucks. I get six hours here till the ferry takes off. Back to Vienna. Church bells, midday, Bratislava, Slovakia. 12 noon. Comes in here with a Starbucks, a piece of carrot cake. Tomato pizza, that is for sure. Finished a nice little tour of the city. And now a tour on my own. Go get a Starbucks coffee to start with. Not much of a Starbucks drinker back home, but over here I do drink Starbucks. It's closer to what I expect. And here's the Opera Center again. My guide earlier says it was built by the Austro-Hungarian Empire to spread culture throughout the empire. Culture, aka propaganda. Uh, you have um, Corzo, Bratislava, Triangle of Streets, uh, uh, where you can uh, you have all kinds of stores here, uh, art galleries. Uh, in this direction, you will find the man at work who was there before, uh, observing the little guy on the, the ground. And uh, and then uh, in this direction, you can find the Danube very easily. 
right to the right we find the place where we were at uh, earlier this morning when we uh, began our tour and uh, and then if you went straight and to the left uh, to, uh, to the end of that square which we see right now right up ahead you'll find Maximilian kick. Water fountain. Coolers. Good idea. Though it really doesn't seem that hot. Not by my standards, anyways. Okay, right. All you need to do is keep going straight this way, uh, pretty much in the direction of the blue car right now. Uh, where this, uh, the people are standing yeah. behind the blue car, there's a gateway, a black uh, gateway. If you keep going straight, uh, you'll find the city wall. Heading up to that what they call Harad Castle. I'm not sure if it's open, but we'll find out. Looks like there's a big storm moving in here too. Oh, I know Google. Google's telling me to turn. When in doubt, follow the cobblestone road. Follow the cobblestone road. Follow the cobblestone road. The old city wall of Bratislava. I guess you see these in a lot of different areas of Europe. In North America, the most obvious, or and or South America, the most most, area, most obvious areas would be Quebec City, Mexico City, and uh, Cartagena, Colombia. And it looks like they got a Chinese restaurant over there. How about that? Well, I made it <clears throat> up on Castle Hill here, overlooking the uh, old town of Bratislava. Pretty nice little town. Clean. Doesn't have the hustle and bustle of uh, Vienna or a lot of other destinations. I think it might be still off the map a bit for uh, a lot of people. Or maybe when they hear Bratislava, they think Count Dracula, which is not the case because that's Romania. That's the Danube River right there. The UFO Observatory on top of the UFO Bridge. See all the barges along this side of the river. And the old town of Bratislava with St. Martin Church right there, front and center. In the distance you see literally hundreds of uh, wind turbines and front and center you see uh, what looks like the old Soviet style housing and buildings and so forth. Like I said earlier you can still see the old Eastern European influence here of the Soviet bloc. Definitely doesn't have the standard of living that of Austria or Switzerland. Yeah. Just going down Clariska here. Clariska Street. Heading back to the uh, ferry for Vienna. Life is short. Make it sweet. There's my motto. Absolutely. This reminds me of the old staircase in Quebec City that takes you to the lower town.
so here we are heading back to the ferry and uh, oh, Google just told me to turn left here on pod grass I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly sounds like some traditional music down here Just don't give up your day job, buddy. Over here, back in the main tourist area. Hydrofoil back to Vienna from Bratislava. Fantastic day in Bratislava.